What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are talking about the headhunter in the defensive clan castle. Is it worth doing? If so, how many should you put in your CC? I'm gonna cover all of that today, taking a look at several different town hall levels. Um, because there are lots of attacks and there are lots of uh, defensive bases that used the headhunter in the CC. And uh, we'll see how it worked out. This first one was one of my attacks at Town Hall 11. And the first way the headhunter is really valuable in the clan castle, as you'll see here, is in Sui Hero attacks where you have either um, dragons or maybe it's hybrid. Uh, or Mass Hog, something where the uh, King and Queen are used at the beginning and then just your Grand Warden is going to be left um, to deal with the, the Headhunters. So um, the CC is triggered by the E-Dragon right here, triggers it very early. Um, dragons are pretty spread out here and they're targeting other buildings. These Headhunters are really fast. They run up and they target the Grand Warden before the Dragons can take um, them out, causing him to have to auto-tome. Um, luckily that feature was there, otherwise he would have just died. I mean, I was not able to react fast enough. The headhunters are kind of small, they're hard to see as they uh, approach your heroes, and um, it would have been a lot nicer to use that Warden's ability, uh, you know, several seconds later as the dragons move deeper into the base, because as you can see, right here it would have been nice to have a Warden's ability um, at some point as they're taking damage from the Eagle and Expo and stuff like that. Um, so that is one way the headhunter is effective is if the attacker is using um let's say sui lalo um sui hogs um or using mass dragon and just using the king and queen to set up funnels any attack where the king and queen are not going to encounter the defensive cc and the only hero that the headhunters have to target is the grand warden um sometimes they'll get taken out by the the regular troops but other times they will uh, make the warden have to use his tome at a very bad time, especially if they get out early. Um, sometimes the warden's tome will already be used at roughly the same time the CC troops encounter him. But, um, as you can see, it definitely ruined this attack, and that is definitely one use for it. Let's take a look at some more replays. Um, we're looking at how it's effective, how it's also not effective. Um, I would say like 1 in 4, 1 in 5 bases in these, this uh, war had the headhunter, uh, as a defensive uh, CC troop, at least on our bases, there, there's they think they might use it a little bit more. But um, let's fast forward a little bit times two here as this attack gets set up. This is an example of how the headhunter is not going to be effective. And on any attack where it's a, uh, it's going to be like a Pekka Bowler, Yeti Smash, um, any type of Smash type attack where you're just uh, sending in a huge kill squad of troops with basically all of your heroes in it, minus the Royal Champion if you're a Town Hall 13, the Headhunter is not going to do much because the troops are going to take it out before it can lock on to your heroes. Um, so as we can see here, as the troops move through the base, take that jump spell, the CC is lured, the Headhunters uh, in the CC here are not going to uh, not going to be able to get out and do anything. They're going to die with the rest of the troops. Um, go right there and you can see they're with those archers and the poison. The poison spell will kill them eventually but not quick enough and we'll see that later in some other examples of how they can still be effective despite being poisoned. The difference here was not the poison but the fact that the P.E.K.K.A.s, the bowlers, were right there to basically smash them down so uh, they're not going to be like a, a troop that's going to stop a, a spam attack. Uh, at least this type of spam attack. They might stop like a dragon spam by locking onto the warden as we saw, but not this type of spam attack. Uh, the stone slammer, I don't even know if it's gonna be deployed here. Uh, unfortunate for our base getting crushed like this. There it is at the end. Very nice of him. Okay, we will move on to number 15 here. Um, the reason I'm showing some of their attacks more than ours is it was easier going back to check the CCs on our side and see which had headhunters, it would have taken a long time to kind of go through all of the replays uh, of our attacks on their bases to try to figure out if headhunters were used in the defensive clan castle. But we are going to take a look at some of our attacks as well, um, that being said. So the queen charge is going to start here. 
And this CC I think has maybe one hunt headhunter, maybe multiple, I forget. But we're gonna see it's gonna force a queen's ability that otherwise would not have had to been used. And that is the strongest uh, argument for using headhunters in the CC. Um, so as we can see, they're kind of hard to see behind the archers as they come out, but they're gonna deploy towards the end. There's just one of them, uh, but it is going to, like right now, the queen has three different point defense on her, but with the raged healers, Typically, that's not going to be enough to trigger her ability, um, especially with a soft CC like this that has a baby dragon and some archers. But because of the headhunter uh, locking onto her, it slows her down enough and it does enough damage that she has to hit her ability. Um, so as long as it can kind of sneak in behind some archers, behind the skeletons from a witch perhaps, or a baby dragon, whatever else is in there, um, it's going to be able to usually force a queen's ability um, if there's other damage on her. And if you have multiple, it's going to really, uh, really be beneficial. They only take up six troop space, so I'd say for most defensive clan castles, there's no reason not to have one of them in there. Um, even if you want to have a hound in your CC, you can still... Uh, I guess not at Town Hall 11, but at other Town Hall levels 12 and 13, you can still have that Hound, but also have a Headhunter and maybe some Archers to fill, and those Archers can kind of help tank, because sometimes, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show this in the replays, but um, it's pretty easy to, to imagine that sometimes if the Queen locks onto the CC as they come out, and there's not a lot of Archers to distract her, she'll lock onto the Headhunter before it can lock onto her, and it's kind of just a, a matter of who targets who first, because um, the queen can one-shot the headhunter, but if the headhunter locks on, it slows her down considerably, and it'll make it less likely that she can respond by taking it out. Anyway, this actually ended up tripling, uh, which was unfortunate, but uh, still forced the queen's ability. And um, as we'll see in a couple other attacks, that um, that can really mess up the attack by, by taking down the queen on her charge. Okay, that was number 15. Let's take a look at two different replays on base number three, uh, which had, I think, a, at least one headhunter in it, and see the difference between these two replays. So first, we're going to look at the enemy team attacking number three. This is it. Um, and look at how the headhunter was effective here, and then we're going to see how it wasn't as effective on the next attack on this base. As you can see, they had a perfect war on us, which was... Uh, Definitely a bit of a surprise. They came out strong post-update um, using the lightning spell, which I'll try to cover more uh, in future videos. And they actually had a few attacks to spare at Town Hall 13 even. So starting off this queen charge, the CC is going to deploy shortly. And uh, really, it's not like the queen's taking a lot of damage right here. The CC partially lures, um, which actually might have been helpful for the attacker, because a lot of those archers, which would be used to distract the queen, got taken out already. But there's still a couple more, and then a headhunter coming out from, uh, hard to see for sure, but coming out um, behind those archers, and uh, it's going to lock onto the queen. Now keep in mind, there's nothing targeting the queen besides a multi-inferno, and I don't even think this archer tower is locked on. So just a multi-inferno, which does very little damage, a couple archers, and one headhunter. But no rage, and you're going to see, without the rage, the headhunter takes the queen down quick enough, just one of them, to the point where she has to use her ability, um, and then it ends up getting taken out by her as it runs away. But um, that was important, forcing the queen's ability there, um, because she's going to go down later uh, as a result of not having that ability anymore. Anyway, uh, this attack is not going to be successful. I think it's going to be pretty close, though. Um, so we'll see as the queen continues on and um, the hybrid goes through the base here that it's just not going to quite get it. It might even be a time fail, to be honest. I didn't watch this terribly closely. Um, queen gets locked onto right here, I believe. Yeah, she's going to go down to those expos, but had she still had her ability right there, she steps up, takes out the multi, or sorry, the single inferno, maybe even comes back around for those expos. We're looking at probably a three star had the queen still had her ability. But the headhunter forced it uh, to be used early. And once again, that's just one headhunter. Um, I want to focus on that because a lot of people are still going to want to use a lava hound or um, a different type of CC they're used to on their base. And only committing six troop space is really not a whole lot um, just to get your toes wet with the headhunter. Looks like I got some of my own CC troops. Um, so 
let's take a look at how this base was three starred and kind of compare here. Speed up just for sake of time. A battle blimp is used to take down the uh, single inferno and some other defenses there. Starts a queen charge, which is going to kind of enter the base a little bit higher up here. And we're going to see the queen's going to get targeted by the headhunter. But with the raged healers, it's enough to keep her up with just one headhunter. Now, had there been three in there, it's a different story. Um, so if you think your base is most susceptible to queen charges, I would say use three headhunters. But um, in this case, there's only one in there. And uh, the queen actually comes back around, which is very nice of her. That was not what I thought she was going to do when I first watched this attack. Um, so if the CC comes out, she's getting targeted by the defensive queen in the tornado trap and the scatter shot um, expo as well. But because the healers are raged up, the um, headhunter is not going to be enough to take her down. Now it is going to slow her down significantly, but the poison spell takes it out. So that's pretty key. Um, the poison spell will take out the headhunter, so eventually the queen will be able to recover. If there's no poison spell, it's going to take the queen a very long time to take out the um, everything she needs to in order to be able to even target the headhunter, especially if there's a witch in there. I mean, a witch plus a headhunter, the queen has no chance of being able to ever get through that without a poison spell. So that um, is important if you're an attacker, you gotta save that poison. If a couple, if the CC partially lures, um, you know, be patient and use that poison later. So anyways, we fast forward here, uh, this one's gonna be successful. This last attack is actually, I think my favorite for showing the headhunter um, kind of showing off how it can be pretty effective. Um, so we're going to take a look at one more Town Hall 12 attack. This one took a long time to find, but I'm glad I, I searched for it because um, it really shows off the Headhunter's power in the CC. Uh, taking a look here at base number 14 attacking 6. Yeah, this is it. Um, so you can see here the uh, attack strategy is going to be queen charge hogs, so of course the CC is going to have to be dealt with uh, by the queen charge. We will we'll fast forward a little bit um, as it gets set up. We'll go times two for most of it. The queen's going to start off here. It's a very long, elaborate queen charge, which I thought was kind of cool, um, using the super wall breakers to really move her around quite a bit, and then the wall wrecker to push into the eagle later. So very elaborate, well-planned out queen charge, getting a lot of value. Um, but the, there's going to be an issue as the queen eventually encounters the defensive CC. So here we go, she comes into the base, um, Wall Wrecker has an E-Dragon in it, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure that's the best thing to put in your CC, but uh, I think it gets a little bit of value there before it you know, gets taken out by some of those archers and expos and stuff. Uh, so anyway, CC partially lures once again. Uh, it's going to come out to the queen in just a moment. Meanwhile, the hogs have been started, which was a good idea. Well, I mean, the defensive queen ran over to them, which wasn't great. So maybe a little bit early on the hogs. So check this out. Three headhunters come out of the CC. That is more than enough to just destroy the queen. So it has to hit her ability. Now, keep in mind the headhunters, when the queen disappears, are going to run to another hero if it's been placed. Otherwise, they'll just target regular troops. But if there's another hero already on the map, um, if the queen disappears, which her ability makes her do... They're going to run over to the Warden. The poison spell was not enough to kill them because they weren't in it long enough. One of them survives, runs over, locks onto the Warden, forces him to have to use his ability, um, which is very important because these hogs uh, cannot now have the tome covering them over the town hall. Um, now, I think it might have already been uh, unlikely that the hogs were going to take out the entire base here. But it just goes to show if the hogs had even been a lot stronger through the base, they would have had a lot of trouble with that town hall killing them with the explosion uh, because the warden's ability was forced to be used. Headhunter still alive the entire attack, which is pretty cool. So um, I guess the moral of the story is three headhunters, if the queen doesn't take them out uh, like right away, they are going to force her ability. Now, that's fine. The queen's ability, um, if they just target archers, she'll be able to take them out. But if there's another hero that's been deployed, such as the warden, you got to be careful that the headhunters don't run over and target your warden. So there's a lot to think about. Um, hope these attacks were helpful uh, to kind of illustrate 
the power of the headhunter in the CC. And my, my recommendation as a defender is that you absolutely use one at least, um, and I would say three if you suspect a queen charge will be used on your base. I would definitely up it to three, put it with a witch, some archers, and a baby dragon. And if you're the attacker, if you see headhunters coming at your queen, and there's multiple of them, I would just hit the ability right there and prevent them from even locking onto your queen at all just to speed things up and prevent any accidental problems they may cause because you're going to have to hit it anyway if three headhunters have the opportunity to lock onto your queen before she can take them out. That's the important thing. If she targets them before they, they target her, which can happen, you'll be okay. But otherwise, you're going to have to hit that ability. Anyway, hope you liked the video and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, ISECT, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.